हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ महिमा लहरिया फ्रॉम विजयनगर कॉलेज हॉस्पेट एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द स्टैंडर्ड रिडक्स पोटेंशियल इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियोस वी हैव टॉक अबाउट द ऑक्सीडेशन एंड द रिडक्शन एंड वी हैव आल्सो डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द रिडक्स पोटेंशियल सो टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट द स्टैंडर्ड रिडक्स पोटेंशियल नाउ लेट अस स्टार्ट द टॉपिक सो व्हाट इज द इलेक्ट्रोड पोटेंशियल फर्स्ट सो ए पोटेंशियल एसोसिएटेड विद द इलेक्ट्रोड इज नोन एज द इलेक्ट्रोड पोटेंशियल एज वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड इन अवर गैल्वेनिक सेल इट इज मेड अप ऑफ टू इलेक्ट्रोड एज द जिंक इलेक्ट्रोड एंड द कॉपर इलेक्ट्रोड सो द ऑक्सीडेशन टेक्स प्लेस एट द जिंक इलेक्ट्रोड एंड द रिडक्शन टेक्स प्लेस एट द कॉपर इलेक्ट्रोड सो हियर वी कपल द टू इलेक्ट्रोड्स एंड सिमिलरली वी कैन से दैट द anode is our negative compartment and the cathode is our the positive compartment we couple both we join these two cells with the help of our, these two electrodes with the help of the salt bridge the electrons flows from the zinc to the copper so this is a type of the we can say that in the galvanic cells we are coupling the two single single electrodes and we get a complete cell now in this we we get the electrode potential values but we are talking about the standard electrode potential so what is the standard electrode potential values we can say that if the concentration of each species taking part in electrode reaction is unity that is the gas at one atmospheric pressure and the temperature is 25 degree centigrade then the potential of such electrode is termed as a standard electrode potential means if we are taking the electrodes in the normal conditions of the temperature and the pressure or the concentration then they are the just the electrode potential values but if we say that standard electrode potential it means we have uh, certain conditions for the uh, pressure and the temperature that is the and the concentration of the each species should be unity and the gas uh, gas at, at one atmospheric pressure and the temperature should be 25 degree centigrade so if the standard condition of the temperature pressure and the concentration are taken the potential of such electrode is termed as the standard electrode potential so we can say that the standard electrode potentials of the electrodes are called as the redox potential or the standard redox potential as in your syllabus specify they specify the term redox potential actually the meanings are same standard redox electrode potentials or the redox potential both are the same because if we uh, means we can see this the redox word is the combination of the two potential that is the reduction potential or the oxidation potential so if we determine the standard electrode potentials of any electrode it will be either the oxidation potential either the redox pot reduction potential so we can use the term redox potential in the place of the standard redox potential or standard electrode potentials means all these are the synonyms we can just say the same words so the standard electrode potential or the standard redox potential can be determined by coupling the electrode whose potential has to be determined with the standard hydrogen electrode as we have already studied there are different types of electrodes and we can use if we want to determine the like electrode potential of any electrode we can couple it with the standard hydrogen electrode which is a primary reference electrode as the electrodes are of two types primary reference electrode and the secondary reference electrode so if we want to determine the electrode potential of any electrode we have to couple it with the any reference electrode here we are just uh, giving an example of to couple it with the standard hydrogen electrode so here i have uh, drawn the diagram of the standard hydrogen electrode and it is um, made up of our one there is one glass jacket and inside uh, there is one inlet from where the h2 gas is uh, coming h2 gas flows inside and this solution is our hcl solution and the concentration of which is 1 molar we can say that and we can say this is a reversible electrode and here is one platinum foil and thin platinum wire which is uh, connecting to the outer circuit we can say that so now we can see the when the hydrogen gas is bubbled at one atmospheric pressure this is adsorbed by the platinized platinum sheet as a result of the adsorption of the h2 gas the equilibrium between the h2 molecules gas molecules and this h plus ions in the solution is maintained means equilibrium start a uh, set up between these two so we can say that this is a type of a reversible electrode and here uh, the reaction takes place in such a manner means it, there is an equilibrium between the h plus ions and the h2 gas now we can say that if uh, suppose we want to determine the 
potential of the zinc electrode so we can couple it with the standard hydrogen electrode yes, uh, in the last video we already seen the electrode representation means uh, we can just uh, say that metal in contact with the metal line and a vertical line is here and when we connect it with the salt bridge then two vertical two parallel lines are used and we can see when the zinc electrode is coupled with the hydrogen electrode we can represent it in this manner zinc in contact with the zn2 plus means this is the uh, any uh, whenever metal is there it is dipped in the electrode of its own salt suppose zinc sulfate or we can say ionized form we can represent zn in contact with the zn2 plus and the concentration is one molar similarly the h plus ions means the hcl concentration is one molar here and the h2 gas is at the one atmospheric pressure and there is one platinum wire so for representing the hydrogen electrode we use this h plus ions in contact with the H2 gas at one atmospheric pressure and they are in contact with the platinum electrode. So we can just uh, see when uh, we can couple the zinc with the hydrogen electrode. So we can write that here if the oxidation is taking place at the zinc electrode and the reduction is taking place at the hydrogen electrode means our uh, hydrogen electrode will be the cathodic part or we can say that is a positive compartment compartment and the zinc electrode we can couple it with the hydrogen standard hydrogen electrode and uh, it is also set up like the galvanic cell electrochemical cell we can say that there are two electrodes one is our zinc electrode whose potential is to be determined and the standard hydrogen electrode whose potential we have already taken to be the arbitrarily fixed as the zero so when uh, we couple both these the, both these electrode we can just uh, say that on the zinc electrode the zinc metal is dipped in the solution of the zn is uh, we can say this this, this is the zinc metal it is dipped in the solution of the znso4 and the oxidation is start here and the, the as the oxidation is start here the zinc will lose the two electrons and these electrons will transfer to the our hydrogen electrode and this will be accepted by the h plus ions in the solution and they will get uh, turned to the h2 um, gas molecule so thus just we can see this reaction as our uh, oxidation takes place at the zinc as the zinc loses the two electrons and these two electrons are accepted by the h plus ions so the hydrogen gets uh, reduced to the h2 so we can say that in this cup uh, we can uh, to determine the standard uh, electrode potential of any electrode any single electrode we couple it with the any reference electrode here we have coupled it with the help of the standard hydrogen electrode and we can determine the its uh, either self potential so the overall reaction can be represented as a zn plus 2h plus gives zn2 plus plus h2 gas now we can say that here to determine the electromotive force or the electrode potential of any cell we use e, e not equals to e cathode minus e anode here when uh, we couple this with the potentiometer the emf is found to be point, 0 0.763 volts so this is the uh, electrode potential value of the whole cell standard electrode potential value of the whole cell so as we have uh, taken hydrogen standard hydrogen electrode at cathode minus our zinc potential zinc we have to determine the value so we will just uh, take the value for the standard hydrogen electrode to be zero so when we will just uh, subtract this value what the values are um, we are getting is the value of the our standard oxidation electrode potential for the zinc electrode itself as we talk that it is our oxidation is taking place at the zinc electrode and in this manner we can find the value of any uh, electrode potential of any electrode so we can say that if it is a negative pole we are going to get the values in the negative signs and if the electrode is capped at the positive pole means if it is at the cathode compartment we are going to get the values at the positive electrode potential values so we can say that we can determine the electrode potential values means we can determine the standard electrode potentials or the values of the redox potential or the standard redox potential of any electrode by coupling it with the standard hydrogen electrode and if we are getting the uh, if the oxidation is taking place the we are getting the standard oxidation electrode potential and if the reduction takes place at that end so we are getting the standard reduction potential values and we can combinedly say that these values can be regarded as the standard redox potential 
values now we can talk about our redox potential data